So I actually got a call from Clayton about two weeks ago, I guess it was, three weeks ago, um, saying that he had a property he wanted to sell. First thing he told me was 6,000 square feet. I had this massive reno that was done. You know, a reno isn't really the right word, and you is an overbuild. We uh, had to take out the whole front wall and to replace it all and to uh, make the windows bigger. And so I had the fireplace add that warm feeling to it to, to give the house more curb appeal and style. Uh, Kamloops can be a really hard place to find a home that's on level ground that's got what we need, basically. So when we were looking around, we looked at quite a few properties and we found this one. Although it did need uh, a lot of work, we could see the potential of the lot and the property. So that made us move ahead with that. We installed a brand new pool in 2011 with a custom pool house. Um, I had a pool and then he kind of downplays it as a good size shop. 60 by 80 shop, uh, 20 foot ceilings. I mean, when you're talking a 4,000 plus square foot shop, it, you have to be inside that to understand just how big that is. I mean, this isn't your hobbyist shop. It's a dream shop. 200 amp power, it's fully insulated, fully finished on the inside, bathroom, welding outlets, natural gas heat, it's got it all. The house is beautiful, the pool is beautiful, but the buyer that walks in here that's gonna fall in love with this property is the one that drives directly past the house, goes past the pool, goes past the pool house, and pulls up to that shop. When you're coming into a renovation, a lot of times there's a, it's an older home that's been completely done up. There's gonna be a chance to cut corners. Um, but as soon as Clayton told me that it was Tim Pash and Pash Construction that did it, I mean, those guys have an awesome reputation. They do a ton of work around town. You know, our name is on every house and every project that we do. We try to make sure that we do quality work all the time. When uh, Pash Construction did the renos, we, efficiency was a huge thing. We did a lot of extra insulating, all new windows, highest level windows we could get. The owners let us rip it down to the bones, basically, down to uh, just studs inside. Try and get an, old, you know, an older house to a better R value to get more efficient, up to date. The nice thing was too, we didn't really have to worry about cutting costs or uh, cutting corners. We, you know, we had everything engineered. We had the geotechs in for all the earthwork for the garage, and and you know we, we don't have customers trying to save money. They were trying to just make everything nice and quality, a quality job. So that was good too. And, makes it easier for us. You're gonna have a hard time finding something this nice and this uh, beautifully renovated, um, especially on a lot this size. I think it's a benefit being outside the city limits. You get that country style living, you still get a sense of community, but you get the benefits of lower taxes. Um, you can have a fire pit here. You, know, you have your friends and family out, have a fire without pulling a permit. So we did uh, full irrigation, underground irrigation. There's 14 different irrigation zones here. Uh, I think you have a house that's that's well built and already already brought up to date, so you don't have to you know buy a house that's old, go through all the hassle of bringing it up to date, you know, replacing the windows and, and all that kind of stuff. You basically have everything done. It's got the triple pane windows. It's got a lot of um, even the baseboards are the thicker baseboards. The doors just have a quality to them. So there's a ton of value for someone that wants to come in. It just makes a lot of sense for for any buyer that has a need for this type of property.